I am obsessively in love with the tricolor from young. Uh, you know, it's like something that you instantly relate to. It's kind of like second nature. You look yeah. at the national flag, no matter where it is, and you know, I live in Mumbai. Um, there is a point as you take uh, a turn towards the ceiling. I live in Bandra, so as you take this, as you take the ceiling from here to go towards South Bombay, there is a huge national flag they have there. And I kid you not, my my heart skips a beat each time I see it a flutter, and you know, it kind of moves. I don't know if I make it up, but to me, it's always moving in slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Welcome to Midi Round Performance, and of course, we like to start by wishing all of you a happy Independence Day. And joining us today is an actor who's of course uh, has some amazing, amazing performances, and she just not has a real connect, but also a real connect with the Indian Armed Forces. Nimra, hi. Hi, Natasha. I love happy you to have me. Happy day to you and to everyone watching. Happy Independence Day, of course. and you are as we know someone who grew up in the army cantonments and uh, you know that's the life not many of us uh, get to experience so what are your memories of that the most beautiful the most innocent and uh, it's it's like it's such a small world within itself you know that um, honestly those were my best years i know that you know um, everybody thinks of their childhood in that fashion but i feel like the exposure i got to that world and you know the way i was growing up from cantonment to cantonment school to school everybody has the same things you're going to the same birthday parties and um you kind of share like you know everything is really similar yeah. uh so it's a very sweet and a very innocent and a uh, a very blessed atmosphere to grow up in and as we you know your dad uh, was among the you know, brave army men who sacrificed his life for the nation and uh, from what we know he also was uh, honored with the shorey chakra on your birthday um so you know what are your memories of that time because it couldn't be an easy time for the family though it is a proud moment but of course couldn't be easy then yeah i mean you know the pride and everything that one feels is is after many many years perhaps decades or something like that happening because you can't possibly uh separate the event from uh you know your life and you don't i mean as a child i was all of 11 so you can't have an objective perspective on it no matter what um but we were very blessed to have a lot of love and a lot of support from the army at that time and uh, everyone rallied around us to make sure that we were uh, you know as a family back uh, on track and you know kind of um rehabilitating and uh, it, it was it was really a you know like it's a bit bit of a blur i'll be honest and uh, uh, he was awarded the shorya chakra on republic day that year which is uh, 26th of january and then it was handed over to my mother at the rashtrapati bhavan uh, by the then president of the country um on my birthday so that was a that was something that was uh special and you know all of that but you know it wasn't something that we could really um yeah. you you realize what what it is and the importance of something like that many years later true true and uh, of course those experiences have definitely shaped your personality and made you the person you are today so how do you feel that has you know that connect well i think uh, there is you know there is only to gain from all kinds of experiences in life if you choose to understand what are the hidden lessons they come with they make you value the smallest of things and the smallest of gestures and i feel like they also prepare you for all kinds of challenges and adversities that otherwise you may not have the faculties to uh deal with so i yeah. feel that it's you know you have to look at the silver lining no matter how dark the cloud is and that is the lesson that that my mother taught us and you know uh, growing up my sister and i were uh you know never encouraged to be under a cloud or be under you know any kind of or any form of um a, a, a doom or anything like that so i feel that you know 
from the decision to come to Bombay and you know to deal with everything that the city comes with and the profession comes with and all of that, I feel that it gave gave me a lot of strength and a lot of uh, patience and a kind of a, an understanding which I may not have had uh, had I not have had I not had all the experiences that you know make me me. And of course, we saw you play a soldier as well in the test case. And that was also at a time when uh, OTT was not as huge as, as it was as it is today. And uh, but you took that risk and playing an army officer. I mean, uh, a lot of women, of course, was inspired by you as well. So yeah. what was that experience like, and what are your memories of that? Oh, they had me at home. You know, when uh, Ekta Kapoor and Samar Khan had come to me with that concept, it was just a one line, and I was I was on. I was like, when are we starting? You know, because. It's it's like my backyard. It's something. It's a no brainer, you know. It was, and I, as you rightly said, the OTT world had not even begun that time. There were only a couple of shows, a few shows that were kind of, there were murmurs about this starting and that starting and this platform and that, and you know, none, none of it had happened. So, um, it was a it was a really 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 fun experience and a very very, um, you know, it's like uncharted territory, and I'm, I'm always a huge fan of that. And what better way to do that than uh, you know, play an army officer and just, you know, just live that life. And, you know, it was, it was a show that was all about that girl and, you know, how she overcomes all the challenges of being that one girl in that boy's world. And, uh, you know, I thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. Thoroughly. It, it, it today, it today remains uh, one of my favorite, favorite experiences. Uh, it's my mom's favorite work. Uh, you know, she's watched it. Um, I don't even know how many times. I don't think she knows how many times she loves it. And that, in fact, that show is the only one I've ever retained a costume from. I requested the costume team to just let me keep that as a memory for always. You know, uh, I, I got very attached to that. Uh, costume and it, it didn't it didn't feel like a costume uh, I've said this before I, I I'll always feel that you know that part there was something real about it and some some lifelike quality even though I was never in the army but you know the fact that I've grown up watching men in in, in uniform it was like yeah. home you know so nothing about it felt like a job yeah, and how would uh, you describe patriotism? Because everybody has different definitions, but of course, as someone who has experienced that life closely, how would you describe it? Patriotism to me, you know, Natasha, is a very personal definition. I think for all of us, patriotism means different things. For me, what it means is to be the best at what I do being a citizen of the country. Whether I represent the country abroad, whether I represent uh, my community in the city, uh, by that I mean being an actor, uh, how responsibly do I conduct myself? Uh, do I keep my surroundings clean? Do I respect other communities, uh, other religious sects? Uh, do I have uh, an equal amount of respect and regard for anyone, no matter where they come from? Because as a country, we are so incredibly diverse that sometimes I feel like we're not even, it's not even right perhaps to call us a country, we're a continent. You know, yeah. there's so many of us coming from so many different walks of life. And the East is so different from the West, is so different from the South to the North. Um, so for me, it's, it's about being responsible as a citizen, to doing all that I can in my immediate surroundings. Uh, to just look after, you know, my immediate uh, contact points, whether it's the people who, who I work with or for or who work for me, all kinds of, you know, whatever interactions I have. So that for me is patriotism. And I feel like if we can achieve at an individual level, uh, looking after ourselves and each other and our environment, climate, animals, I think we'll, we'll, we'll be as patriotic as it gets. And I feel like that would be the highest form of service to the country. Yeah, yeah no, that's beautiful actually. And it's also a 75th year of independence. And of course, you also have the Har Ghar Siranga uh, campaign going on. So what are your thoughts about that? Well, I have my national flag right there actually. <laughs> I have 
it right there. Uh, I had it in my car as well. I am obsessively in love with the tricolor from young. Uh, you know, it's like something that you instantly relate to. It's kind of like second nature. You look yeah. at the national flag, no matter where it is. And, you know, I live in Mumbai. Um, there is a point as you take uh, a turn towards the ceiling. I live in Bandra. So as you take a, as you take the ceiling from here to go to, towards South Bombay, there is a huge national flag they have there. And I kid you not, my, my heart skips a beat each time I see it a flutter and, you know, it kind of moves. I don't know if I make it up, but to me, it's always moving in slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love the idea of the Har Har Tiranga campaign, and I love it. And I think that uh, it's beautiful. Actually, I've been driving around seeing uh, the national flag uh, at every point: buildings, homes, balconies. Um, it's beautiful. I love it. And is this one message you'd like to give fellow citizens today who are celebrating this day? The thing that you like. Well, uh, to everyone celebrating uh, the, the 75th uh, Independence Day, um, I think uh, there is, you know, every day is, is a day to be proud as an Indian, but uh, it's almost like a birthday we're celebrating of the country. So uh, it's a beautiful feeling coming together and knowing that, you know, every Indian uh, on this day at any point uh, in, in the world, wherever we are, we are going to want to come together as one and celebrate um, this glorious day. And uh, I wish everyone a very, very, very happy Independence Day. Um, and uh, very, very proud to be an uh, Indian girl and a daughter of the soil. It was lovely having you as always. Thank you for doing this. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Subscribe to Midday India. Get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon.